Thomas Roberts, but we do want to start with that developing story about indicted former House Speaker Denny Hastert. The retired Illinois congressman was the longest serving GOP Speaker of the House. Today, he's the subject of a two count indictment that shocked the political world on Thursday. The first count alleges he structured bank withdrawals to avoid bank tripwires required to report large cash withdrawals. The indictment says that Hastert was incrementally paying $3.5 million to an unknown individual for, quote, past misconduct. Hastert is also charged with lying to FBI agents when asked about why he withdrew that money. Joining me now from Washington is NBC's Chuck Todd, moderator of Meet the Press. And Chuck, you put it in first read today with your team that average Americans who think the place, when we're talking about Congress, is filled with crooks and creeps, may have more ammo. There's so much that we don't know about the Denny Hastert story. So let's start with what we do know about the payments. Right. When did they start? Well, here's what we know. The payment started in 2012. Uh, look, here's what we also know. The FBI has somebody who explained the whole scheme to them. And if Hastert's the one that's indicted, it's clearly not him. He's being indicted for lying to the FBI. So uh, it, it is reasonable, you know, it, 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 is it likely person A, who's unnamed, who actually ends up explaining the scheme? They meet in 2010. Uh, a few times. In 2012, the payments begin. Uh, approximately a million dollars over time is transferred to person A. Not all of it. Apparently, there was an agreement to pay this person $3.5 million over a, some set period of time. The reason the FBI got alerted is there is a law, uh, as folks know, that if you withdraw cash of 10000 or more out of a bank, that bank has to report that uh, to the federal government. Uh, it's a way of trying to keep track of, of you know, potential uh, criminal behavior, track criminal behavior. So a bank uh, is likely it was a bank that tipped off the feds, which began the investigation. Uh, and of course, that's where they catch Hastert lying when they ask him, why are you making these big withdrawals? Calls, right. Uh, then it becomes that he said, well, I was just keeping the cash. I believe they have a quote in the indictment itself. He goes, yeah, I didn't trust the bank, so I kept the cash himself. But if he didn't produce the cash, that's not said in the indictment. Then, of course, that seems to uh, make that story crumble. And meanwhile, we've got two fronts that we want to figure out here, because in this situation, we get the cover up being bigger than the alleged crime. And especially in the reference of the FBI report, they're talking about individual A and past misconduct, which is what the indictment alleges. Nothing's ever come up in your reporting, though, about Denny Hastert or any past federal investigations, right, Chuck? Well, look, there has been, you know, he was there was a time there was some he was part of a, a bunch of members of Congress were getting investigated in the early uh, 2000 about some financial issues he was totally clear to that uh, no I mean if there was ever criticism of Danny Hastert it was when he was speaker that he was a little bit um, too slow to uh, purge unethical behavior out of the place um, so that would be a criticism you would hear. But of course, he became speaker because it was thought of he was the cleanest guy they could find, right. one without skeletons. It was all in the, the wake of the whole Newt Gingrich uh, post impeachment problems. Then you had Bob Livingston, who was going to replace Gingrich as speaker. Uh, he had a sex scandal that, uh, that, that uh, made that a problem. Then it went to Hastert because the idea was he was clean. He had, after, you know, he had also come under criticism, frankly, from some good ethics ethics folks who said he went from Speaker of the House to big time lobbyist here in Washington. Uh, of course, that firm, by the way, he resigned from today, uh, basically 24 hours after the indictment comes out. That also certainly doesn't doesn't paint a picture of an innocent man. All right, so the speaker has not given a statement yet. He's out on his own reconnaissance right now. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.